Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lamaser here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys I'm gonna be showing you every single painted variant of the brand new endo. That's right guys So hopefully this will work for you as sort of like a trading guide that you can come back to whenever you want Just so you can get an idea of what these endos look like and which ones you want to search for And also just so you can see exactly what you're getting when you're trading for them But anyways guys if you enjoy this video or find it helpful be sure to leave a like down below Let's try and hit like 4,000 likes to keep this kind of series going and without further ado here let's jump straight into it all right guys so starting this video off i will be going through every single one of these colors in alphabetical order so if you do want to look for a specific one you can just scroll through the video and find the color that you are looking for now before we get into those colors themselves i do want to give you guys a couple of facts about the painted endo variants and the first of which is that they do come in all 13 colors which is definitely really weird i really did not think that it would have black as a painted variant which kind of sucks and you'll see the exact colors here in a moment but just be aware of that when you are going to open crates and trade ups stuff like that and also with the painted endo the parts that are painted are the trim around the window and also the engine but more importantly the bottom trim of the car is also painted as well as the entire bottom of the car itself so yeah as you can see here with the first one here which is a little bit out of order but this is my titanium white endo which is definitely my favorite color that the endos come in but as you can see here when you flip over the car the entire bottom is painted so when you're going up for aerials or freestyles it actually looks so freaking sick but speaking Speaking of the titanium white endo, here is my variant in blue with the white heat wave, the white zombas, which honestly every time I see it I'm super happy that I was able to pick this up. And then of course with the opposite side for the red, I just decided to go with the classic red and hexed as well as the crimson lightnings. Because if you didn't know, with these painted imports, you can't select a different color for each side. So that is a little unfortunate, I definitely think they'll be changing that in the near future, but just another thing to keep in mind. Now getting into the other colors here, starting off with black, <laughs> this is the one that is super close to the regular so as you can see in this picture you can for sure get it painted black which again is just so freaking weird because it doesn't look at all like it's painted so here is a video of it in action and it's just you can't really tell that it's black it's honestly really unfortunate and I'll show you a picture here of the regular as well so you can kind of compare them side to side but there is definitely a very subtle difference you can notice it the regular is a little bit more gray but at a glance they definitely look quite similar now moving on to the burnt sienna here and this one i only have a picture for again with these burnt sienna variants there are not many pictures videos or anything online so unfortunately i just have a picture here but it is still hd you can see that it has that typical burnt sienna color which honestly i don't really know how you would match it to mystery decal variants and stuff like that it is a weird color to have but it does look fairly nice now moving on to the cobalt variant this video as well as the one for the orange coming up in a little bit comes from a guy called atlantis settler so thanks to him for the video but as you can see here here with the cobalt cycling around the entire side this one looks really nice it's not quite as sick in my opinion as the sky blue which i'll be showing you towards the end of the video but it is still a very solid color and definitely one i might go after in the near future now moving on to one of the more important ones here and i have a video for this one as well from staple rl and this guy actually has 20xx on it as well which in the crimson variant looks beautiful this is one that i could definitely see being pretty high priced the blue side is a little weird you can't really match a good color with it with it coming out kind of odd but with that red side it kind of makes up for it because it looks amazing definitely fits that typical crimson color that people know and love so much and i definitely think this one is going to trade for quite a bit but as for the forest green one here this one i only have a picture again i couldn't find any videos online but this again kind of suffers from the same thing as the crimson variant because it looks great for the blue side and this guy has purple on it which actually looks very sick i really like it on this one but i can only imagine on the red side that there isn't really a good color that you could choose for it i mean if you decide to go with a red it kind of turns into a christmas mobile and then if you choose orange it kind of just would still not look the best so unfortunately until they finally add in that feature where you can select different cars for each team this one might not be the best choice it still looks very good but maybe not so much for the orange side now moving on to the gray one here this one actually does look really good when i first even heard that there was a gray variant of the painted endo i definitely thought it was going to look 100 like the regular one now to be honest it does kind of look like the regular 
regular one they do look fairly similar but overall it does have enough of a difference that you can definitely tell that it's a painted variant and it actually does look very nice i will say that for a gray paint which usually isn't the best this one does actually look really good getting into more of the colorful ones here with the lime variant this one i do not have a good picture for i am sorry this was the only thing i could find and it is a portrait mode picture of somebody's screen with the lime endo so i'm sorry about that but you can still tell that the color is quite good and also it does kind of suffer from the same problem as the forest green where it looks kind of odd on the red side this would definitely look amazing on the blue side with like a light blue but as for the red side it does look a little bit odd but definitely not terrible as for the orange variant here this one is one of my personal favorites because as we talked about with the crimson and the forest green where it kind of looks good on one side and not so much on the other this is definitely one of the paints that looks good on both sides so as you can see here he shows it on the blue side and it does actually look very nice it has this really sporty feel to it that I can definitely get behind and unfortunately we don't get to see the red side but you can easily imagine if you match like the orange with this one there's just no doubt it is going to look absolutely sick now moving on to another one that looks really good on both sides this is the pink variant of the endo which as you can see with this dark blue and heat wave with sort of a black to it it looks really good now I wasn't exactly sure how it would look on the blue side but this completely changed my mind this one looks sick in both variants and again unfortunately I do not have the orange side but I mean it's pink of course it's going to match up with a red a matching pink or like a darker purple so there's no doubt in my mind that that is going to look amazing but moving on to the sort of darker variant of the pink with the purple endo this again is kind of the same situation as the first I mean purple is a mix of blue and red so it's definitely going to be fitting on both sides not so much with the orange variant here I would definitely go with more of a dark red but overall definitely a very good looking variant now as for the saffron variant here again with the 20xx decal which I am still trying to get I want this decal so freaking much but as you can see here this one looks just absolutely sick the yellow painted variant matches perfectly with the color that you can choose for your decal which usually is kind of a toss-up sometimes it matches sometimes it doesn't but with this one definitely looks amazing and of course with the blue side it would still look sick with like a darker blue and a yellow so this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to chase after as well but as for the final variant of the painted endos this one right here is sky blue which is another one that looks absolutely amazing so this guy has it with hexed and of course the the sky blue asterias I believe I really do not use those wheels at all I'm not even sure what they're called but this is also a very good variant when you choose like a dark pink or a dark purple like this guy has you can easily get away with a good orange side but then of course on the blue I can only imagine that it's going to look amazing as well but anyways guys that is going to be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to leave a like down below it only takes a second and it helps me out a ton and do not forget to subscribe as well as check out some of my previous videos which should be popping up on the screen right now including the crate opening in which I got the titanium white endo from as well as my previous video of this series on all of the painted Kalos wheels but other than that guys again I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm the Lama sir and I will see you guys next time